Hey everybody, Chris Serino here from Sultana Education Foundation's Virtual Classroom. Today I'm going to be telling you a brief history about the schooner Sultana. So the boat that I'm sitting on is a replica of a ship that was originally built in Boston, Massachusetts in 1767. Now, 1767 was a really pivotal year in history as it relates to England and her colonial subjects here in America. That's the year that Parliament passed the Townsend Acts. The Townsend Acts taxed things like lead, paper, paint, glass, and tea. When the news of the Townsend Acts reached America, there were literally riots up and down the coastline. And partly in response to that, King George III established a small fleet of revenue cutters that were sent specifically to the colonies to patrol the waters of places like the Chesapeake Bay, search boats, and make sure that the colonists weren't smuggling taxable items in order to avoid paying their taxes. One of Sultana's very first assignments was to join a large fleet of warships in the port of Boston where British redcoats had been ferried into the city to quell riots there. That was in the fall of 1768. We had a crew of 25 men and for four years from 1768 to 1772, Sultana sailed up and down the Atlantic coastline anywhere from Halifax, Nova Scotia to the Carolinas, visiting 11 of the 13 colonies while looking for contraband. So what does Sultana do on a daily basis? Basically, our job was to patrol colonial waters and any vessel that Sultana saw, she would order to come about, lower their sails, the crew of Sultana would board the other vessel, often at gunpoint with a flintlock pistol like this, and we would demand that the captain of the other boat hand over a list of what was in the hold. And then our crew members would go down in the hold, like I'm about to do, and make sure that underneath the colonists, corn and wheat and tobacco, they weren't smuggling things like tea. So let's pretend I'm on Sultana, and I'm about to conduct a search. I would go down in the hold of that vessel and search for smuggled goods. So we know from Sultana's logbooks that during her four-year tour of duty, she searched about 400 vessels looking for smugglers. The first two years of her service went pretty smoothly, but on March 5th of 1770, there was an infamous event known as the Boston Massacre. And when colonists learned about this, they saw Paul Revere's engraving showing British troops firing into a seemingly innocent mob. For the next two years of Sultana's service, we know that a lot of their searches were conducted after firing swivel guns to coerce the other vessels to cooperate. We met a lot of resistance and all this came to a head when in June of 1772, one of our sister ships, His Majesty's schooner Gaspee, or Gas Bay, was captured and burned to the waterline by angry colonists in Rhode Island. After the burning of the Gaspee, the writing was on the wall for Sultana and the vessels like her. And sure enough, in the fall of 1772, the Royal Navy decided to sail Sultana back across the Atlantic Ocean to England, where she was decommissioned and sold at an auction. What Sultana left behind is an incredible record of primary documents, logs from both the lieutenant and the master, showing the daily lives of the men charged with enforcing the hated Townsend Acts in the years before the American Revolution. Sultana was not the largest ship or the most important ship, but that little window that she offers us into history is invaluable. We know Sultana left the colonies just in time because about a year after her departure, we have the Boston Tea Party, and then just about a year and a half after that, we have battles in Lexington and Concord leading to the American Revolution. That's a quick history about the schooner. The best way to learn about it, of course, is to come out sailing with us. But until then, we hope you'll join us here at the virtual classroom for more cool videos.